y'all see this? Are y'all seeing this? Yes, hello everyone. We have another Bungo unboxing today and it is a huge one. I mean, it's so heavy, I can barely carry it, but all right, we'll make do. So I got this off of weareanimecollectors.com. It didn't say, I, I don't think, at least I can't find it anywhere. I just checked. It doesn't say what the size is or what scale this is, but I'm guessing it's closest to a 1 sixth. I'm just guessing that, but we're, we'll find out when we open it up. But this is technically the first resin statue that I ordered that's unlicensed from like one of these Chinese websites. But the first one that actually arrived was the standalone Chuya one from the Dead Apple movie. Actually, I shouldn't say it's standalone. It can stand alone, but it typically is displayed next to Dazai's Dead Apple. I just didn't get Dazai's Dead Apple because he looked really weird. He didn't really look anything like Dazai. Um, so I just got Chuya and I love him so much. And he is a 1-6. I have a video of that up on my channel already. I will um, put it, I'll put like a little card up here somewhere so you can go watch it after this video. So I'm super excited. This box is so heavy. I don't even know how to, oh my God. I don't even know how to take this out. Look how packaged, well packaged this is. It comes with like Velcro. <laughs> okay, let me move you guys back a little bit. Hopefully the angle isn't too bad. Or if it is, you guys don't mind too much. So I will say my expectations were kind of high just because I loved the Chuya one so much. But I know the Chuya one was done by a different studio. The Chuya one was done by Chang Studios. I think I think this is just done by WeAreAnimeCollectors.com. I don't, I really don't remember. The resin stuff kind of confuses me. So if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Uh, if I don't correct myself somewhere in the video. <laughs> okay. So I thought when I got the Chuya one from Chang Studio, I thought that was overwhelming. This is just, I don't know if I can like show you guys. Hold on. They're like pieces and pieces. Look at that base at the bottom. I don't, I don't really know where to start. So I guess I'll just take the base out. Oh God. This base is huge. This base, I think, is the same base as a different Chuya resin figure that I really want, but I missed out on ordering and I cannot find anywhere and I really, really want it. It's like my resin holy unlicensed holy grail. I will put a picture of it up here, but this looks like, you know, just going by my memory, this looks like the same one. But anyways, I do like the checkered base. I just think this base is so freaking huge. Like, it's insane. And I, I don't think I can opt out of using this because... Uh, fun fact, this figure actually has a lamp that actually lights up. So, and this is like this little peg over here. This is where the lamp goes so it can, it can light up. There is a photo behind the base and it is what the figure looks like. And I got number 74 out of 150 that were made. Um, I kind of wish it was 75 or like a different number <laughs> with Chuya's. I think I got number, I got number 80, but okay. So this is the base. It's very, very heavy, like insanely heavy. You could beat somebody with this. Okay. Anyways. Um, okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So this is the chair. Holy crap. This is the little throne does I sits on. Look at that. It's got this little butt imprint on it. <laughs> Look how like insanely good this couch is painted. Oh my God. It, oh my, like the texture is there and everything. So cool. Um, There's nothing that really connects it to the base. It kind of just sits there, but I think it's heavy enough where it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I would say that if you are going to pick up this figure to dust it, uh, remember that this is not actually connected to the base. Uh, before you pick it up because then it'll slide off but it is very like it is probably just as heavy as the base is like it's <laughs> like I cannot I'm doing this like you can feel it but like it, it's really heavy so we'll just set that aside I don't know where to start should I start with I guess I should start with Dazai since he sits on the on the throne so this is Dazai's body that's supposed to sit on there he's got his little jacket draped 
on the couch or off the couch. He's got his shiny shoes. And this is Mafia Daz. I, I guess I should have <laughs> I should have explained first in case you were wondering why his trench coat, his brown trench coat is missing. Very, 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 very pretty. I kind of want to save my thoughts to the end. This is his head. <laughs> we are going to connect it to the body. Okay, I like that. Okay, so the past Chia one that I got had magnets that connected the body parts and so does this one. And I'm really happy because I hate figures that like you have to put together just because I feel like it's easier for them to fall apart. But there's a magnet in this so I think it should be perfectly fine. His head does turn a little bit though, but that's, I mean, as long as it doesn't fall off, I'm good. Okay, he's missing his hands, so we gotta find those. I see Chuya's hands. This is hand number one. Look at that! He looks, they look so good. Look at those, like, knuckles. Wow, th that's a really, really, look at the hand, the finger it is. Okay, okay, well, you'll see it <laughs> later. All right, this hand lays on the armrest of the couch and then we have the other hand oh okay. okay so now we have the other hand that lays on his uh thigh uh so we have dazai put together i think that's like all for dazai um, i'm like looking at the box now yeah that's pretty much all for dazai so now we can place them onto the chair and he fits per out and he fits perfectly now the chair doesn't have a magnet on the seat, but I think it's okay because he fits in very snug onto it. So I can't wait for Chuya to be right next to him. I'm hoping Chuya, cause Chuya's supposed to like almost kind of sit on the armrest where Dazai's hand is. I'm hoping that he fits in there snug if there's not a magnet on there. That's a little scary. Here is Chuya's body. This one's kind of weird just because we have Port Mafia Dazai here and this isn't in the Beast universe so but then we have like Chuya's 22 outfit so I don't know where are we here? <laughs> I guess this is them at 18. I don't know like right before Dazai left. I'm not I'm not really sure about the time frame here. We have Chuya's head over here. His hat comes attached. And then I'm guessing this is a magnet as well. Yep, there he is. Um, and then we have we have some options for Chuya's. We can display him with two different guns, I guess. I really don't know which one I want though. So we have this one, and then we have we can display him with a longer gun. This. I don't really know what I want him with. I guess we'll put him with like the default gun because this is what he has in the box and I think it looks pretty cool, so. We have his other hand that's supposed to be laying on his knee. Here we go. I kind of, okay, I'll, I'll save I'll save the thoughts for after. <laughs> um, and then I think that's it for Chuya. I'm so curious how he's supposed to be sitting on this. Oh, okay. Oh, that's still so scary. So. <laughs> So Chia is supposed to be sitting on this armrest. The armrest does have a like magnet on it, but I don't, it doesn't really, it still moves around. There's a magnet and then his foot, like one of his feet does lay on the base, I guess to keep him upright, but the magnet still feels kind of weak. Uh, so that's kind of scary. I would be really careful with that. Mm -mm. And now we have the lamp to put together. So this is the lamp shade and this is, this lamp actually lights up when you connect it to the base. It does come with a wire somewhere, <laughs> but that's the lamp. And then the lamp shade, sorry, that's the lamp shade. This is the lamp pole. And then this just goes on top. Um, so it looks like this, came off I think it was supposed to be glued like that but it is it is broken so I can just uh, I don't know I guess I'm gonna have to call customer service they could send me a new lamp but hopefully it still lights up <laughs> I really hope it still lights up um, but we will see okay so this connects to the base on that little peg that I showed in the beginning <sighs> y'all before I plug this in pray with me that it works That is so sick. 
Okay, that is actually so cool that it lights up. That is so exciting. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so I have the figure all put together. Oh, no, I don't. I didn't even see that. It comes with a bunch of loose bullets. Okay, I see it on the photo now. It's supposed to be next to Chuya on the base. And then it comes with, where'd I put it? This like very small amount of putty that you're, I guess you're supposed to use to stick on, stick these onto the base. <laughs> uh, I really hope it doesn't ruin the base though. God, it would look cool on there though. I don't know if I'm gonna put them on there right now, so I think I'm just gonna leave it off. Just, I, I need some time to think about it. I'm very indecisive, so um, we will save that, but I think that's super cool. Uh, I was hoping that the bullets would have been like, I was hoping they would have been magnets. I feel like that would be much safer and it would be less of a risk to ruin the actual base. So something else that these came with are actually enamel pins, which I was not expecting at all. And the enamel pins also came with like a little easel to display them with. These are the easels. And then the enamel pins are, of course, of Dazai and Chuya, and they're pretty big enamel pins. Oh, they're not enamel pins, they're just like little plaques, because they don't have like the pin backs. But here's Chuya's, and they're gold plated. And then um, on the back, it just has the We Are Anime Collectors logo, and then it has your number on there. So again, I'm 74 out of 150. And then we have Daz Eyes. I don't know why they gave Daz Eye devil ears. <laughs> Chia doesn't have it, um, but I guess they would be under his hat. But okay, uh, we got the Demon Prodigy uh, right over here. And then again, you have your logo and then the number out of 150. So that's pretty cute. I think that's really cool. I don't know if I'll display it. Maybe I will display them next to the figures, but if I find that I'm running out of space later on, I'll take them out. But that's just real. That's actually a really cute addition. Let's let let's discuss our thoughts. Okay, so starting off with Dazai, I think ultimately he looks pretty good. He does look like the demon prodigy, very a very Port Mafia Dazai expression. He's making over here. I think his sculpt is very, very pretty. I love him in this suit. I think I love especially the way his jacket drapes off of the chair. His sleeve also drapes over one of the armrests. I especially love how his hands are sculpted. I just think they're so detailed, even like each individual fingernail. I think that the only thing that I'm a little kind of disappointed in is how his face looks in general not the expression i think the expression is fine but like how his lips and face is sculpted is a little bit off it doesn't a hundred percent look like does i i guess it like does and it doesn't like i feel like there are some features like his lips that are a little bit off or like a little bit weird maybe it's kind of hard to explain I think for Dazai though, I think that's like my only issue, which kind of sucks because I'm really picky about face sculpts and everything, but I don't think it, it's as bad as the Dead Apple Chang Studio one. I think that one looked even more off than this one. So so moving on to Chuya, I think Chuya's figure I have more issues with. First off, um, his hair. I feel like his hair is a little too orange, like very bright orange. His hair is, typically supposed to have more red to it than than yellow and i think they added way too much yellow in this one it kind of bothers me a little too much like it's like really really yellow they've added way too much yellow i think his face sculpt is i guess better than da's eyes um he's got a little dimple which is super cute uh and then i think the only other weird thing about his is that his arm doesn't completely rest on his knee it's kind of just floating there it's just kind of awkward um but other than that i think his sculpt in general like his body sculpt and his suit sculpt and the folds just like Da's eyes looks really, really good. I think they did a phenomenal job with the idea of having the lamp light up. And I think what makes this especially great is the fact that it's double black together. This is really, despite it being unlicensed, this is actually really, really exciting. And I love the whole scene going on here. This kind of looks like a scene from the Beast universe. I think I'm not as excited because I think 
again i had such high expectations for it based on the chuyo the first chuyo one from chang studios that i got i thought the like paintwork and everything was phenomenal especially his hair color was great but i think with this i think i just need to sit with it a little more i am enamored by it but yeah i think I think this is a pretty one nonetheless. I'm like staring at Dazai's face more and I don't think it bothers me as much as it did at first. Uh, I know technically they do take the opinions of the customers where they'll post the sculpt on their Instagram page and I think on their Facebook page and they will ask for your opinion and if you don't like the sculpt, they'll change it. And I think that's what they did with Dazai's head. And I think I like Dazai's first iteration better, uh, but this one's not too bad. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.